Topic of today's lecture is Cultural and Language Mapping of Great Britain and the United States of America. We will consider the issues cultural values reflecting the character traits of British and Americans, their contemporary life, cultural dimensions theory, stereotypes as sustained illusion judg judgments about other cultures, cultural norms of behavior in the etiquette of Americans and Britons. The cultural map tells about groups of people that live in a certain area. The map may tell about their customs, traditions, uh, lifestyle or ethnic backgrounds. It may point out the religion that practice or the language they speak. Cultural map contain cultural values or ideas about what is good, right, fair and just. Whilst on the surface, most countries of the world demonstrate cultural similarities, there are many differences hidden below the surface. When we communicate with strangers, we are more aware of the range of their possible responses and of the uncertainty of their prediction. Thus, we create intentional mental maps of reality based on our experiences. When we communicate across cultures, whether non-verbally through gestures and actions or verbally through language, or we do so based on our mental maps. Moreover, we should know about more some of the ranges of cultural values, diversity and similarity, change stability, significant and insignificant factors. In order to maintain a group identity, there has to be some definition and expectation about similarity. Most societies have a recognizable range of acceptable differences which are tolerated. The US, for instance, is highly individualistic, allowing a wide range of variation in personal beliefs, lifestyle, activities and affiliation. Yet there are expected standards for patrioti patriotism and loyalty. Some societies are very rigid in their requirements for acceptable behavior. In change and stability, much of the identity of society consists in its social institutions discussed earlier. In these institutions, change too much, the society may become unstable, threatening the individuality of the tribe or nation. This may involve political change, acceptable language, conformity in role or attitude. Significant and insignificant factors include, for example, societies vary in their stress on various human characteristics. That is, some societies value the same human characteristics more than others. Some societies stress value in war, thus killing and defense may become positive values. The most important features of national character, characters of British and American styles of life, virtues and cultural values are wealth, po success, power and prestige, find their reflection in sayings and proverbs and idioms. For example, in, this, in the proverb, when wealth is lost, nothing is lost, when health is lost, something is lost, when character is lost, all is lost. Or, for example, everything in its own time. Fortune favors the brave. Keep your pecker up. It means remain cheerful. Keep your head held high. Life, live and let live. That means don't interfere in other people's business. We should live our own lives and let others live their lives. Speaking about the idioms, for example, the term Inga Beaver refers to a person who is hardworking and enthusiastic, sometimes considered over jealous. The new accountant works all the time, first to arrive and last to leave, a real Inga Beaver. Fat cat refers to a rich and powerful person as a Fat cat means that you disapprove of the way they use their money or power. The place was full of fat cats on their big yachts. To say that some, someone's attitude is sore grapes means 
that they are trying to make other others believe that something they cannot have is of no importance. For example, in the sentence, when she didn't get the job, she ha- she said she wasn't interested in it anyway, but that's just so grapes. A person who is as hard as nails is someone who is, who who is very unsympathetic, who does not seem to care about others. The basic cultural values and social customs derived from social norms are the rules or standards that guide, control or regulate proper and acceptable behavior of a group are reflected in cultural maps. Cultural mapping is a a vital factor for cross-cultural communication as it identifies who is participating, what they are doing, the resources they need to do their work effectively and how they relate to one another. A cultural map tells about groups of people that live in a certain area, as has been mentioned. National cultural mapping is based on the analysis of Hofstede's Hofstede, an influential Dutch researcher in the field of organizational culture. Hofstede's Hofstede's cultural model contains dimensions, which enables us to quickly see how similar or different cultures are. It defines initial uh, national cultural dimensions, which include power distance, uncertainty, avoidance, Uh, individualism, masculinity, and language contextualism of 40 countries. Power distance dimension relates to the degree of equality and inequality between people in a particular society. A low power distance indicates that a society does not emphasize differences in people's status, power, or wealth. Equality is seen as the collective aim of society and upward mobility is common. The UK score in this dimension is 35. This indicates that rank, status and inequalities between people are reasonably low. On a macro level, this manifests in a number of ways such as legislation protecting ethnic minorities' rights. On a micro level, This is witnessed on the office where relationships between superiors and subordinates is related casual and incorporates little ceremony. Uh, Individualism and collectivism dimension focuses on the degree to which a society reinforces individual and collective achievement and interpersonal relationships. Uncertainty uh, avoidance relates to the degree of anxiety society res- uh, members feel when, uh, when in certain, one in uncertain or unknown situations. A country with a high uncertainty avoidance score will have a low tolerance towards uncertainty and ambiguity. As a result, it is usually a very rule-oriented rule society and follows well-defined and established laws, regulations, and controls. A low uncertainty avoidance score points that points to a society that is less concerned about ambiguity and uncertainty and has more tolerance towards variety and experimentation. Here we have two more uh, dimensions, masculinity, femininity, and long-term orientation. Masculinity and femininity dimension pertains to the degree societies reinforce or do not reinforce the traditional masculine work role model of male achievement, control, and power. A higher masculinity score indicates that the country experiences a higher degree of gender differentiation. In such countries, males tend to dominate a significant portion of the society and power structure. Long-term orientation stands for the fostering of virtues oriented towards future rewards, in particular, perseverance and thrive. It is opposite role, short-term orientation stands for the fostering of virtues related to the past and present, uh, past and present, in particular respect for the tradition, uh, preservation of faith and fulfilling social uh, obligations. 
The United States is the fourth largest nation in the world, with a population of nearly 300 million people, and 70% of the population are white ethnic groups, followed by African Americans, Hispanic, Asian, Asians, Alaskan uh, natives, Hawaiians, and other Pacific uh, Islanders. The United States is a multicultural society. The two words salad bowl and mosaic are used to describe the nation in which different cultures combine together to form a diverse country. Of course, the country is experiencing Latinization. Its character and communications, communication are affected by an influx of those from Latin America. Although English is, a, is the official uh, language Spanish is emerging as a second language, especially in the southern, in the south, southwest, California, Florida, and Puerto Rico. The country consists of two societies: white people and people of color. There are huge regional differences in lifestyles and attitudes. As an example, the western part of the United States is more established, conservative, organized, and deteriorating. The western part of the uh, nation is more casual, innovative, and flexible. Speaking about the American culture, we should speak about the cultural dimensions and social, cult so social customs. Social customs. Americans like their privacy, first of all, and enjoy spending um, time alone. Foreign visitors will find U.S. American homes and offices open, uh, but... Uh, what is inside the American mind is considered to be private. To ask the question, what is in your mind, it is considered uh, to be by someone uh, intrusive. U.S. Americans uphold the ideal that someone is created equal and has to se has the same rights. The Amer the, um, this includes women as well as men of all ethnic and cultural groups living in the U.S., there are even laws that protect this right to equality in its various forms. The other, another aspect of American society is the family. Family structure is so alien to most cultures in the world that it is often misunderstood. The main purpose of the American family is to bring, uh, other, um, hap um, to bring the happiness of each individual family member. The traditional family values include love and respect for parents as well as for all members of the family. U.S. Americans take pride in, in making the best uh, use of their time. Time is money, for example, in business. U.S. Americans apologize if they are late. Greetings and farewells are usual uh, short, informal, and friendly. For example, students may say, Hi, how are you? What's up? The farewell can be as brief, see you, take it easy, or come by, t uh, or come by some time, although they generally do not really mean it. Friendship is, friendship is also casual. Americans seem too easy to develop and end friendships. A competitive spirit is often the motivating factor to work harder. Americans often compete with themselves as well as others. They feel good when they beat um, their, when they say, beat their own record in, in an athletic event or other types of competition. Americans seem always to be on the go because sitting quietly doing nothing seems like a waste of time. In the US, you are expected to dress appropriately for the occasion. As students dressing casually, Jeans, shorts, t-shirts is generally acceptable unless you are instructed otherwise by your department. In the workplace, dress is more professional, although standards vary different greatly. Some workplaces practice casual Fridays in which attire that is a bit more casual is acceptable on Fridays. Uh, observe that uh, others are wearing or ask a supervisor before wearing casual clothes. Be aware that another people may be dressed casually. That does not mean that sup supervisors or professors should be treated as equals. 
The United Kingdom is a country inhabited by 60 million people. The, ma the major ethnic groups in this country are English, Welsh and Scottish. They are traditional, con conventional, reserved and distant. They tend to downplay situations that may cause conflict. Casual customs, respect and difference are shown to superiors and appropriate distance is used in communication and social uh, interactions. Family names and titles are always used. Manners and good etiquette are followed on all occasions. British communication style is a curious mixture of different communication when it comes to data, numbers and policy, for example, yet on the other hand and feedback, any feedback delegation to colleagues and in general interaction is littered with indirect suggestion and subtitles which often confuse. The English humor and use of understatement also takes time to understand. And offhand comment like, oh yeah, don't worry, the report only took me about two hours, when it in reality it took about five days, may simply be a light-hearted way to suggest the person was happy to complete the report despite the time it took. Another aspect of British culture is that people generally welcome and are not afraid of making mistakes. They are always prepared to give something a go with the knowledge if it doesn't work out they can't move on uh, meeting british people can also reveal different cultural values british people are of, are uh, open and friendly and visitors are often supervised by their seemingly unlimited capacity to make small talk about the weather uh, visitors to the uk may find the friendship uh, friendship up to a um, point unusual in time, they will learn that British friendship comes through sharing activities like going to the pub, uh, playing golf or going to the gym. Going to the pub is in the, is in the fact a big part of the British life. Often people who are new uh, to the UK may find the often excessive British drinking culture surprising. They may well be horrified to hear tales of the drunkard behavior of senior staff members at last uh, year's office Christmas party, for example. Stereotypes are considered to be a group concept held by one social group about another. A stereotype is a group of concepts that presents a simplified identification of a person or group. Feminists hate men, right-wing Chris Christians hate women, vegetarians are wimps, people who watch daytime talk shows are stupid. Often stereotypes is a negative caricature or inversion of uh, some positive characteristic possessed by members of a group, exaggerated to the point where it becomes repulsive or ridiculous. Uh, general stereotypes are based on uh, simplification, exaggeration or distortion, generalization, presentation of cultural attitudes as being natural. There is a variety of common national stereotypes about the inhabitants of various nations held by inhabitants of other nations. Such stereotypes are usually um, a fact of the prejudice and often ill-informed and often overlap uh, with ethnic or racial stereotypes. Examples are as follows. Australians wear uh, weather-beaten hats with dangling cocks. The Englishmen are tolerate eccentric people, French near the bath. Germans consume huge amounts of beer, sausage, cabbage, and behave like machines, and etc. In British culture, the handshake is the common form of greeting. The British might seem a little stiff and formal at first. Avoid prolonged eye contact as it makes people feel uncomfortable. There is still some con uh, protocol to follow when introducing people in a business or more formal social situations. The British exchange gifts between family members and close friends for birthdays and Christmas. 
If invited to someone's home, it is normal to take along a box of good chocolates, a good bottle of wine or flowers. Gifts are opened when received. Unlike the European cultures, the British enjoy entertaining in people their homes. Uh, the, although the British value punctuality, you may arrive 10-15 minutes later than invited to dinner. However, if going to a restaurant to be on time. Table manners are continental. That means the fork is held in the left hand and the knife is in the right while eating. The fork is held tines down so food is scoped on the uh, back of the uh, of the fork remain standing until invited to sit down you may sh you may be shown to a particular seat do not rest your elbows on the table if you have not finished eating uh, cross your knife and fork on your plate on the fork over the knife indicate you have finished eating by laying your knife and fork parallel across the right side of the plate in American culture, handshakes are firm, brief, and confident. You should maintain eye contact uh, during the greeting. In most situations, you can begin calling people by their first names. Most people will insist that you call them by their nickname if they have one. In general, Americans give gifts for birthdays, anniversaries, and major holidays such as Christmas. A gift can be as simple as a card and personal note to some, something more elaborate for a person with whom you are close. Uh, when invited to someone's home for dinner, it is polite to bring a small box of chocolates, a bottle of wine, a potted plant or flowers for the hostess. Americans socialize in their homes and backyards, in restaurants and in other public places. It is not at all unusual for social events to be as casual as a backyard barbecue or picnic in the park. If you have not finished eating, cross your knife and fork on your plate white, uh, with the fork over the knife. Indicate you have finished eating by laying your knife and fork parallel across the right side of the plate. If you, more, if you are more comfortable eating in the uh, continental manner, go ahead. It will not offend anyone. Feel free to refuse specific goods or drinks without offering an explanation. Many foods are eaten by hand. Do not begin eating until the hostess starts or says to begin. Remain standing until invited uh, to sit down. Do not rest your elbow on the plate. Put your napkin in your lap as soon as you sit down. Leave a small amount of food on your plate when you have finished. Having considered the subpoints of the lecture, we may draw the conclusion that sayings, proverbs, and idioms contain culture-specific knowledge of certain uh, nations as, and they are um, the guides for uh, successful communication across cultures, and they help us predict some aspects of cross-cultural communication. Consequently, these dimensions provide um, the student with a better understanding of cultural preferences of different co countries. They also provide us with understanding of diverse approaches to cross-cultural communication. Stereotypes are not always bad. In fact, they are closely related to the roles that are associates with social institutions and they play an important part in the social construction of reality. Stereotypes like other forms of categories can be helpful or harmful depending on how we use them. If we are from a culture that is more subtle in communication style, we should not try to be insulted by the directness. Try to get to your own point more quickly and don't be afraid to be more direct and honest than you are used to. Also, one should bear in mind that Americans will use the telephone to conduct business that would require a face-to-face -face meeting in, more, in most other countries. They do not insist upon seeing or getting to know people uh, with whom they do the business. 
The review questions are provided for your self-study to be submitted to the Google Classroom. The questions are, what is uh, the meaning of the expression a culture map? What do the most features of natural char char characters uh, of British and Americans, li styles of life, virtues and cultural values that are wealth, success, power and prestige find their reflection in? What are the two words used to describe the nation in which different cultures combine together to form a diverse country?